Took you like a shot Thought that I could chase you with a cold evening Let a couple years water down how I'm feeling about you And every time we talk Every single word builds up to this moment And I gotta convince myself I don't want it even though I do Hey guys, so today's look is on this Spotlight Halo Eye inspired from the palette by Aspen Ovard and like Tarte, like the collaboration palette. Um, it's a kind of, it's a kind of review video, like I do give you guys my opinion on it. I say at the beginning like I'm not doing a review but then it kind of ends up being a review. It's more so to kind of focus on this um, makeup look. I want to guys give, I want to give you guys kind of an option on like a makeup look to do. This is a more glam one. I can do a more simplified, more natural, wearable, everyday look from the palette. If you guys would like to see that, make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, without any more rambling, let's head into the tutorial. This is a full face, so for all of you guys who have been requesting a full face tutorial, this is. Full face is just more focused on the eyes today. But otherwise, yeah, let's head straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. I have scheduled a fair few like base tutorials for the upcoming videos when I'm away. But I thought, because you have been requesting it for a little while, I thought I'd just give you one, just like a little taster, I guess, before I really jump into the more in-depth tutorials. So I'll probably just do it, keep it really simple, kind of straight to, straight to the point, just kind of like quickly get it done, because it's the eye look that I'm most excited for today. My girls, girls, we're going to be trying out the Aspen Ovard Tarte Palette. And it comes with a blush and like highlight as well. It's so beautiful. I think it's like a perfect travel palette. It's got all neutral colours. It's so pretty. Like there's some shimmers, some mattes. It's got the blush and highlight so you're just good to go. It's so pretty. And it comes with a mirror guys. What else could you want? So we're going to be trying out this little baby today. I'm so excited. This is not going to be like a review um, look today. Because I feel like there's been a heaps of people doing reviews on this palette so I thought I'd just kind of keep it as a tutorial and you guys can check out other people's reviews and see you know what they think and everything like that oh I'm distracted by this thing on my bias right now let's cover that up so for the skin today I'm going to take my put a healing hydrating face and body cream this is the one with rose and geranium rose geranium and lavender in it lavender is so so good for the skin it helps heal up any scarring helps with breakouts pimples acne things like that and I just really like this one it smells amazing it's fully natural there's no preservatives no nasties in it it's really really good I've talked about it before I'm just gonna apply this all over my skin to hydrate it and also prime it today so once it's like nice and tacky I can move on to foundation so I'm going to take this foundation it's my covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation it's the shade 210 medium beige or you know beige moin whichever you like to call it I'm going to place this all over the face. My skin has been so flipping good lately, guys. I've been so happy. Like, there was a time just before, like, a couple weeks ago, where it was really breaking out horrendously. Like, I had, like, full-blown, like, acne again. Maybe it was a bit more than two weeks ago. I think it was, like, three or four. And I was like, oh, great. Like, I'm going to have acne when I go away. But I think it's actually cleared up so, so good. I do have like redness and stuff, like a bit of scarring which will fade over time. And it's not, but it's not raised, so like if I want to apply makeup over it, there's no texture to it. It's just kind of like the kind of scarring, I guess, as I'm trying to say. Like there's no horrendous texture to the skin, which is so good. So if I can see I'm quickly just going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm just going to apply this under the eyes and centre of the face to highlight as well as conceal because this shade's you know, just like a shade or two lighter than my natural skin tone. Plus, this concealer has like peach undertones to it, so it's really good to colour correct as well. It's going to cancel out any of those purple or blue undertones under the eyes that you can get if you don't get enough sleep. And just leave the nose last so it sets in the most. We've got like a nice straight kind of highlight along the bridge. And I'm just going to go and set my 
under eyes and like anywhere we, anywhere else that we place that concealer with my Eclipse Blur Powder Packed. It's very well loved. I'm just going in with a dry beauty sponge. This is just from Chi Chi. So I just went ahead and did my brows really quick. So I'm just going to finish off doing the face um, with some bronzer first. So I'm going to take my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and dip into those kind of three shades along the bottom row and use that to both bronze and kind of contour at the same time with my Chi Chi bronzer brush. Kind of hit the nose area with just some of those bronzer shades. And hit the chin, a bit down the neck as well, a bit down the bod. So next for eyes, I've already primed my lids with my MAC uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So you guys can go ahead and prime your lids if you want, or you don't have to. I just feel like the eyeshadows will stick better and work better with the primer down first. So next I'm going to take the palette. Ooh, I'm so excited. So I think first of all for like a transition colour, I'm going to take Santorini Sands. And just place that in the crease with a fluffy brush. Mm. This eyeshadow is super easy to blend through, like really creamy. Tarte, you have done well. It's a really nice tone actually, this one. It looks lighter in the pan, but I feel like on the skin or even just on the eyeshadow base, it's quite lovely actually. It's perfect, just a couple shades darker than my skin tone, so it's really, really perfect as a transition. I'm feeling this is more like a cool tone palette. That's just from like looking at it. It just feels more cool tone to me, which is nice because I haven't played much with cool tones before. Okay, so I think I might actually do a spotlight, like halo eye, just a soft one. Just because I want to try out all those shimmers, like, and I can just kind of layer them up. They're just so flipping pretty. That center one, Heart of Gold, is quite chunky, so that's going to be interesting to use. Anywho, next I'm going to take High School Sweetheart um, just from inner to outer corner and kind of round out the eyes. Mm, that's a really nice shade. Like, really, really nice. It's very soft. These are such muted, like, rosy tones. You could do such a natural look with this as well. Let me know if you guys want to see a more natural look as well. I can definitely do that for you, like an easy, natural look with this, this palette. But I just thought I'd do, you know, full out glam first time. And now you can see like most of the eyeshadows on and then next time I might just turn it down a lot. <laughs> Not a little a lot. <laughs> so make sure to get it on that inner corner like area as well, the inner lid. Alright, next I'm actually going to take some of the blush shade, the Meiji blush, and I'm going to place that again from inner to outer corner, but with a more petite petite crease brush. Because I wanted a bit more like a slightly deeper shade of that heartbreak. I was like a high, high school sweetheart, sorry. And um, just I want something to kind of take that colour a bit further, that rosy tone. Just going back in with some of high school sweetheart around the edges. I'm next going to mix tea time and road trip together. And just start packing that on the inner and outer corner. Just starting with the outer corner first. And then bring it in to the inner corners. Next, just taking Road Trip, I'm going to pack that on the very outer and inner points of the eye just to kind of help that be a bit more deeper. This brown isn't as pigmented as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a bit deeper, but that's okay. And then before I go any further with the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to just create that little spotlight halo eye with some concealer. So I'm just going to take a little bit, it's kind of like a toned down spotlight halo eye, so it's not going to be like uber intense. But it's still going to be like a little bit of something, something, something glam, you know. So just taking it on an accent brush, that concealer, I'm just going to start creating that little halo in the middle of the eye. Just making sure that the top, like the top part of the halo is bigger than the bottom, so it tapers down. So I've got a little bit of like a halo going on, so I'm going to deepen up the brown again on the outer and inner corners. So just taking some of Road Trip and just kind of packing that on again. I just kind of tapered it onto the little spotlight part. Um, don't worry too much about blending it at the moment. We'll just kind of pack it on and then we'll kind of blend it out with the shimmers after. And then taking some of Wonderlust as like our first shimmer that we're going to be using for today. I'm going to pack that on the very lower portion of the center of the lid. 
So keeping that at the base of the lid, just blending whatever's left upwards. It's going to be like an ombre of, of shimmer today. Then the next shimmer I'm going to take is Heart of Gold, which is actually so pretty. But it's just a little bit chunky, so I might just have a... I'll see how I go with this one. It might be a little bit tricky to work with. We'll see. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's not too bad to work with. That is really pretty. It's slightly lighter as well, so it's perfect with the ombre. And it's just got a little bit of fallout, which I thought it might have because it is a bit chunkier. So I'm just kind of packing it on, swiping, whatever just kind of works in the moment. Okay, dokie. So the next shimmer I'm going to take is Endless Summer, which is actually so pretty. It's kind of a bit, uh, a bit more golden-y, I think, in Reflect, from what I can see. It's quite iridescent-y as well. And I'm just going to pack that slightly above um, Wanderlust. Oh no, Heart of Gold. Just kind of dragging it out on the outer and inner edges. So it kind of spreads out a bit more and matches up with the top. And this one is quite finely milled, so it's not so chunky. Like the other two are a bit more chunkier. This one's quite fine, so there's less fallout and it's easier to work with. And then finally for the top, the top of the halo, I'm going to take Brilliance. And I'm going to place that on along that tip of the halo portion and I kind of did end up spritzing my brush just to make it a bit more pigmented just because I wanted it a little bit more popping I'm just dragging whatever's left down the very center so it kind of shines really pops there and I'm just going back in with some of Meiji blush and high school sweetheart and just really crispening up that line I always like to start from the outer and work inner because I do just kind of tend to focus more of it out here, like the deeper tones. And then taking some of High School Sweetheart and just blending out the edges softly. And then Santorini Sands, finally. And then just going back in on the very outer points with Road Trip because I just want to darken it up a little bit more. And to actually help it like stick a bit more, it's like so it really shows up uber pigmented. And I'm packing on a bit of concealer with that eyeshadow so it's really deep and dark and helps it to kind of stick a bit better. Because when you place down a lot of um, eyeshadows, they can kind of, they can sometimes, depending on the quality, end up a bit patchy. So just by packing just the tiniest amount of like concealer can help them show up a lot more pigmented. You see how much darker that is with the concealer rather than no concealer? Like it's softer here, but I wanted it a bit darker, so I'm just going to repeat the same process in the center. Just a little bit and blend it out. And then take some of Road Trip. I'm just bringing it up around on the outer part of um, the halo, just a little bit, just to give it a bit more definition there. And there we go. Look how north spot is. Oh, I love a spotlight halo. Like, I just love it. And those shimmers. Oh, so pretty. I'm gonna just zoom you in. Like, do you guys just see? the ombre of those shimmers it's so so pretty I might just blend out the outer edges just a smidgen so I'm going to take that pencil brush again I'm just going to dip in to tea time which is that lighter brown shade and just kind of smudge out the outer edges of road trip and I'm just softly grabbing some of um, make me blush and the high school sweetheart shade and just slightly softening those edges and that's basically the eyeshadow done for the lid. So for lashes today guys, I went in with my Temptress Wispy Lashes from House of Lashes and they are just 
amazing for this look. They're short on the inner and outer corners, so they're going to help create that rounded eye that we've got going with the spotlight halo eye. And also, they're just so wispy, so you can see the eyeshadow behind them. They're not too thick. Just add a bit of drama and a bit of, you know, glam to this look as well. I just, I love these lashes for, like, any more, like, rounded eye looks. They're just amazing. They're just amazing. Oh, I sound so whiny in that. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm probably going to do the bottom lash line before I do like my inner corner and brow bone. Just because I don't know what I kind of want to do with that yet. So for my wood line, I'm going to take a brown eye curl and I'm going in with my my usual guys, my espresso eye curl from Makeup Geek. And I also just like lightly, lightly brought it a little bit under my lash line. And if I didn't say it before, I did bring it through my tight line as well. Because I just want to kind of hide any skin kind of showing through. So the lashes just kind of mesh in a lot more smoother. So to continue on with the bottom lash line, I'm going to start off with the darkest shade. So I'm going in with Road Trip again on a Morphe M326 brush. And I'm just going to kind of tightly run that along the bottom lash line. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of just starting from the outer corner. And whatever's left, tapering it towards the inner because I do still want it to be quite um, quite pigmented on the outer corner because I, I don't know with me I just find if I round my bottom lash line it doesn't look as good but I mean like it's up to you guys you do what you want to do I'm just kind of buffing out that coal liner on the bottom lash line a little bit so it's a bit more smokier I'm then going to take tea time it's such a cute name I actually love that taking tea time and I'm buffing out road trip and I don't really want the bottom lash line to be too much of a focus because it is the top of the eye, like the lid, which is like the main focus. So I'm literally just kind of just softly smoking it out. And then I'm just kind of running High School Sweetheart just underneath to give a bit of that rosiness back to it. And also, because I kind of just want that to be a little bit more smoked out just a little bit so that's pretty much the bottom lash line done let's move on to the inner corners you know I think I might actually use the highlight from the palette to do my inner corners and brow bone so I'm just going to pop on um, Pure Soul oh my gosh what a great name these shadow names like are fantastic I absolutely love it oh damn girl and I did spritz my brush, by the way. And bringing it on my brow bone as well. I'm using my little precise shader brush. Just to get it kind of nice and crisp along that brow line. I've got a few stray hairs going, so... I mean, if you have the same and you don't really want to highlight those stray hairs, then I'd prefer... I'd probably recommend going in with like a matte, like Married Life from the palette, and that would look so beautiful with this look as well. Damn, this is like glam and a half. Like, oh, it is so pretty. So to finish off the face, I'm going to take Made You Blush and apply that to the cheeks, like the contours of my cheeks. Holy crackers, that's a flipping beautiful blush. Oh my gosh. That is actually stunning. Oh... So I'm just applying it to the contours first, and then whatever's left on the brush, I'm applying it to the cheeks. And for highlight, you guys know what I'm going in with. I'm going in with Pure Soul, and just applying that to the high points of my cheekbones. It's like a shimmery highlight. I wouldn't really say it's natural at all. It's kind of shimmery. It's got like flecks of shimmer in it, so it's, it's pretty nice. And I like more of a kind of glowy highlight, but... If you want to go really intense, like this will be good. And it's buildable, so it doesn't really come out pigmented on the first swipe. You've kind of got to build it up. Yeah, that's actually, that's a really pretty glow, actually. That is really nice. And then I'll just finish off with a couple spritz of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And for lips today, I'm going to keep it super simple and just go in with my Pale Plethora Liquid Lipstick from Zoeva. So this concludes today's makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a few tips and tricks from it. 
And I hope you enjoyed me showing you a tutorial on the new Aspen Over Tarte Collaboration Palette. I love this palette so much and you can guys can form an opinion from yourselves. Watch a few other reviews, a few other tutorials and see if you guys want to get it or not. But otherwise I'm going to head off. Hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.